In the last video, we talked about changing the look of the files and folders. There's one thing that I forgot to mention. I'm going into my Documents folder, and I'm going to change this folder to be a picture. I'm going to right-click, Properties, and I'm going to click on this yellow folder. This opens up the Select Custom Icon dialog box. I'm going into my Pictures, and then into my 300px pictures, and I will choose David Brown. Open. And now we see that picture is now what this folder is. Going into my downloads, we can also do this to a file. I'll take this floor plan, right click, properties, clicking on the picture. I'm going into pictures, and we will make this one the picture of Donna Lee. So there's our picture instead of the standard file icon, and it works for files and folders. I'm going back into the home folder, and now I'm going to click on this places and change this to notes. We don't see anything in it. I will type in the message. These are my notes for my home folder and we see this little notepad show up right near this X to show us that there are notes in this folder. We see the notepad next to notes and we still see the note showing us for this folder downloads we have notes. I'm going to change this back to notes and now I'm going to click on the downloads folder and we don't see any change. Double click in this opens that folder and shows us there are no notes for this folder. I will add in the note. I downloaded all these files from the frugalcomputerguy.com. We see the little notepad appears and we also see it in our drop down. When I go back into the home folder, we see the note emblem is attached to this folder. But I will point out that these are my notes for my home folder. So it's showing us we are in the home folder and the notes for the home folder. Even though the downloads folder is selected and it has notes, we are seeing the notes for the home folder. If I click on downloads, we see it change to the notes for the download folder. Can I add notes to a specific file? Sure, all you need to do is right click, click on properties, and over on the right we've got a tab that says notes. This is an example of an org chart created with LibreOffice Draw. I'll click close. We see that the file has an emblem, but we do not see the note in the sidebar. The file notes will not show up in the sidebar, only in the notes tab in the properties for that file. I'm going back into my home file and over on our sidebar, I'm going to click information. This shows us that this is a folder, the name of it, we've got eight items in here the last time it was updated, and that there are notes for this folder. Going into Documents, clicking on the Maybe Late, we see the picture that we replaced the standard file with, the file name, folder, we've got zero items in there, and the last time that we updated. We also see we've got an emblem on here. Going back into the home folder and then into the downloads. Let's click on this one with notes here. A simple org chart shows us the same information. We've got the icon, we've got the name, we've got the type, the size, and the last time it was updated, as well as showing us that we've got notes. If I click this, it will open this file with LibreOffice Draw. We can change the program by right-clicking, Properties, Open With, and if I want to open it with some other program, I would click on Add, and select the program that I want to open this file with. I can also reset it and remove it. Now I'm going to use this file an awful lot, so I want to move it to the desktop, but I also want to keep a copy in the Downloads folder. Well, to get around having two copies, we're going to create a link going to right-click, make link, 
And then I can drag this to the desktop. Double clicking the link will open up that file. If I move the file itself somewhere else to another folder, this link does not work. It must remain in the location that we created the link for. If we want to move this file to another location, we would probably just want to create a new link and delete the old link. We can also edit what this says down here where it says link to ODG4. I'm going into the properties and here's our target link telling us where it's at and this is what is going to show up. I'll change this to say open org chart. Now it says open org chart down here. Double clicking does the same thing, opens it right back up. We also have bookmarks. I'm going back to places and I want to add a bookmark. I will bookmark my documents folder. The best way to do that is to open up the documents folder, go into bookmarks, bookmarks, add bookmark. We see it added here, but we should also see it in our sidebar. The reason we don't is because it is already right here, our documents. So I'm going to remove that, edit bookmarks, remove, and I'm going into my documents and then into the maybe late folder. I want to bookmark this. So I'll say bookmark, add bookmark, and there we see we added it. We can also add it by dragging on time into bookmarks. Now we see the on time is in there. I will also add in the needs attention. Notice that this only keeps the standard folder, not the picture or the color that we changed. But they are in the bookmarks. So if I click on the on time, it takes me to the on time folder. Maybe late, it takes it to maybe late. Same with needs attention. Or I can use the standard places over here to take me back to my home folder and the like. Once again, we're at a good breaking point, so we will pick up from here next time. If you like these videos, please tell a friend.